the Avondale City Council. Welcome to Arizona's newest All-America City, Avondale, Arizona, and welcome to Avondale City. Avondale, Arizona. You know, it, it's amazing. Before I get started, I, I would like to acknowledge uh, our fellow council members who are here. Uh, Tina Conde. <laughs> Veronica Malone. And Pat Dennis. And in the back, we have some of our, our leaders, and Cheryl Steele, who, uh, if you've ever been to the Care First Center, you know that she uh, runs that place with an iron fist and needs to. <laughs> so we've got, we've got several of our staff members here, and those are the ones that are really delivering those services. And I can't tell you how proud we are to have this model here in our city. And when you think about the roots of how this all happened with a with a nine-year-old little boy following his old man to work for years and years and then ultimately becoming the CFO of his old man's company and now the CEO of that company. Justin, thank you so much for, for believing us. And, and I want to thank you for investing in this community because what you're going to find is that this is a community with a lot of heart, it's a community with a lot of pride. Now the resources may not be as much as we need, but you're gonna find that these are great families that you're serving, awesome families that you're serving. And so just a second ago, I did mention that Avondale is an all-America city. And one of the determinants of that, and uh, Dr. Hargrove was a huge part of that, is that not only did we increase grade green level here in the Avondale School District as a community, but we also looked at how do we decrease absenteeism. Absenteeism is an absolute determinant on whether a student is going to be successful. And so we made it very clear to those students, to those families, you have to be in school. And I can tell you right now, having this clinic here, serving families, not only their health, but their minds and their hearts and their souls, that is going to help with that absenteeism and we're gonna decrease that and that's also going to feed into uh, much more better results here. So, you know, from my own personal standpoint, I know what it means to have access to healthcare. My mom had been a hard worker her entire life and, you know, as the economy went down, her jobs got, uh, you know, a little bit less money, a lot less benefits to the point to where you know, in her early 60s, she was working a minimum wage job with no benefits. And what was diagnosed at one of those, you know, uh, just walk-in type clinics because she didn't have a place to go as a clinic, as someone that they knew her, because she didn't have that place, what was originally an ear infection turned into TMJ, turned into an un inoperable squamous on the right side of her head, which is a, a cancer, uh, which, if you catch it soon enough, completely survivable. My mom didn't have access. The families here are going to have access to the kind of care that are gonna keep them healthy and keep them going. So, you know, I know that, uh, you know, if my mom would be here, she'd be really proud. And I know if your dad here, Justin, he'd be equally proud. And I think uh, right now they're looking down, they're looking down at the two of us. You guys have done all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to Avenue.